Welcome everyone to this episode of That Went Well. Thank you so much for uh, joining me once again here to talk food and food related items. I am happy to share that uh, this is episode number 25. 25 episodes when just a few months ago I was thinking my face was only good for radio. So um, uh, here we are 25 episodes later and uh, it has been an absolute blast. So thank you for once again joining me here in what is going to be a very special episode for a very special reason. Now, those of you who have been following my projects uh, over the last several years know that one of the things I love to do is podcasting. And um, my initial podcast that I started uh, long, long ago now, back in about 2015, was a podcast called A Few Minutes With. And uh, within the context of A Few Minutes With, as well as its uh, subsequent uh, show, uh, The Random Riff, uh, one of the things I love to do was to welcome people to the show to talk about their passions, things that they are passionate about, uh, that they pour their life into. Well, I am going to, uh, on this very special 25th episode, uh, start that process of making one of the things that I do on this particular show uh, is to feature people who are here to talk about things that they're passionate about. And, of course, I couldn't start this project off if I didn't welcome some of the, someone to the show uh, that was passionate about food. And so I hold in my hand a beautiful, beautiful brioche roll that was made by my guest today, uh, who I'll be speaking to here shortly. Uh, they say that bread is the staff of life. Uh, I simply say bread is the stuff I love to put in my face. And so today... We are going to talk to my friend Janine from One Punch Dough. You've heard me talk a lot about uh, her work on my social media. Um, in the last few weeks, uh, we've discovered uh, the beauty of One Punch Dough uh, and the work that Janine does to break, to bake, I should say, all types of breads and uh, baked goods and so forth. And so I'm really, really excited uh, to feature an interview that I did here recently with Janine and uh, get a chance to hear from her about her passion, which is, of course, all things baked goods. So let's take a listen and learn more about One Punch Dough. Well, as mentioned on this episode of That Went Well, I am welcoming my first guest uh, to come on and talk about uh, food as a passion. And so joining me today um, is Janine from One Punch Dough. You guys have heard me rave about One Punch Dough for a few weeks now. And uh, Janine, I have to tell you, you know, I tend to find things by accident. And it was a trip to PB&J with Tay that introduced me to Mama's Cookies. And before you know it, here we are uh, getting ready to talk about uh, you and, and your life and, and uh, One Punch Dough. And so thank you so much for making time uh, to join me today. Yeah, I'm super excited to be here and have this opportunity, and I'm so glad that you like my baking. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's it's uh, one of those things where, you know, you, you, you latch onto something, you discover something that's that's just incredibly unique and, and wonderful, and before you know it, you want to tell the whole world. And so uh, I have jokingly told you before, I hope you don't mind how much I'm gushing about your brand. Uh, <laughs> and uh, that's the thing, you know, in, in the times that we live, uh, you know, support local, shop local is a big deal. And so yeah. you have a very unique um, uh, thing that you've got going on. And I'm, I'm happy to welcome you to talk about that. Now, I have to tell you, I'm just going to straight up tell you, this is, uh, that went well is typically a tasting show. And so it would not be appropriate if while we talked, I wasn't trying some of your items. And so what I did, I just want to show you here. I took your dinner rolls and I made myself a meatball slider. And so we'll nice. be, uh, I'll be taking, awesome. yeah, <laughs> I'll be, I'll be taking a bite of that here and there, uh, if you don't mind. So, yeah, um, go for it. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, I guess what we'll, we'll do is we'll start at the beginning. You know, what was it that made baking your passion? You know, what, how did you know it was your passion and what led you to begin this project? So I have been baking pretty much my entire life. Um, with the previous jobs that I have done in the past, I would always bring in goodies and I would always try out new recipes and they would be my taste testers. And 
Um, what got me more serious into baking was after my first child was born in 2016. Um, my husband got deployed and I was all by myself and I needed an outlet to really focus all of my time and energy, um, you know, besides taking care of my kid. <laughs> yeah. and, Cause I had switched from working uh, 40 hours a week to being a stay at home mom. And I know that's like very typical and, you know, very stereotype like stay at home mom baking, but like I really fell in love more with breads and yeasted doughs and that was something that I noticed that not a lot of people did mm. um, because I think yeast and bread scares people and they don't know how to do it and how easy it is mm. so yeah, that, I, yeah. as as I want and this all really for me began with uh, like I said a visit to a, a local uh, uh, sandwich shop that we're both familiar with um, and then, of course, it led me to your Instagram, and, and you talk about yeasted breads and so forth. Sourdough seems to be a passion for you within this passion. Uh, for those of, uh, uh, who have seen your page, they know how often you, you share what you do. Uh, was that by, a, you know, a, a specific uh, choice you made, or was it just like this was something that was the most challenging, or how, how did that become one of your focuses? So I... Um... I fell in love with sourdough from following other really talented people on Instagram. Um, I love the science behind it. Like a sourdough starter is basically just flour and water and time. And like, that's it. I, I don't add any like artificial, not artificial yeast, but like the typical active yeast that you would find at the grocery store. None of that is in my sourdough. Mm. Um, I just, I love the science behind it and you can basically create something out of nothing and you can like literally watch it grow in the mason jar that I keep it in and it's, it's magic. And then I also get to incorporate my artistic skill mm. um, on all the scoring and that's something that I've been actively working on for years um, because when I used to do sourdoughs, I the technique that I use now to make it, I didn't do those really fancy scoring designs and it still tasted amazing, but it would just looked like a typical loaf of bread. Um, so that is kind of my signature and I, sourdough is my favorite, favorite thing to make. Yeah. Well, it's, it's very evident in, in the work I've seen, you know, that you've become very skilled. Uh, was there a tipping point where you knew, you know, this is this is a passion, but now it's it's going to turn into something that I really want to have grow? You know, what was that point like, and and when did you know that this that one punch dough was going to be born? Um, not to push everything on COVID, but it was <laughs> COVID that really launched uh, one punch dough. I initially created the page to just be as a blog for myself to keep track of all the designs of sourdough that I made and just basically have an archive of past designs and things that I've done and my progress. Um, when the first round of quarantine started heavily back in March um, and there were bread shortages, I Got, I was reached out to by friends and family saying they can't find bread and they knew that oh. I baked bread. So I basically just gave away tons and tons of bread um, to help families and the community in need. And uh, eventually once things regulated uh, when grocery stores, people were asking me how much I charged for everything um, because they could taste the difference between what I created and what they would buy at the store. Yeah. Um, because I, I don't use anything artificial. Everything is highest quality um, flour and everything that I can find and get my hands on. Sure. Um, and so I sat down with my husband. He helped me create a menu. Uh, we went through a bunch of different names and landed there. <laughs> yeah. Um, what, 
<clears throat> if I may, <clears throat> excuse me, if I may, what is the, uh, the inspiration for the name One Punch Go? It's very unique. Um, so if you're an anime fan, and a couple of people have already reached out to me, um, One Punch Man is an oh. anime that I really enjoy, and it just kind of rolled off the tongue, and I kept coming back to it, and I was like, oh, I punched O down, it's a nice stress relief, so I just nice. went with that. <laughs> I love it. It's funny you mention that, because, you know, I, I've mentioned before I have other projects, and in the movie podcast that I'm doing, uh, this month we're going to start talking about my foray into anime finally and One Punch Man was actually the very first one I chose so uh, I had cool. a feeling it might have something to do with that so yes. that's really cool. <laughs> um, what are some of the milestones that you're most proud of when it comes to what you've created and, and you know your menu is, is quite extensive um, what are some of the milestone uh, breads or, or uh, items that you you felt like, yeah, I finally accomplished that. That's something I really wanted to, to get good at. Um, I think it, so it varies like uh, with some of the cakes, um, that is definitely, all baking is a science. So mm -hmm. it comes down to like the ratio and just making sure you have the right flavors and that nothing's bland. Um, I think accomplishments, you know, most of the accomplishments have been with sourdough because so many things can go wrong with that. Um, sure. And the other accomplishment um, I feel pretty proud of are the macaron cookies that I offer. Um, sure, you've heard that they're a very hard cookie to do. Yeah. Um, so I'm pretty proud that I've been able to keep those consistent and have unique and fun flavors to offer people. Yeah. Uh, I read a post recently where you're going to uh, attempt possibly to incorporate horchata as a flavor uh, in your macarons. Yeah. So I'm, I'm very I much looking forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I can. I recently it. discovered it. And I, when you said, you know, I, I had it in, in an ice cream flavor recently. And so when you said that, uh, I have a, one of my co-hosts from the movie show, which she helped me discover Ochapa, and I was like, look at this. <laughs> so we're both excited. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. As you, as you work through your menu, uh, my wife and I were talking about how right now we're in the we want everything phase, and so our first couple of orders have been quite widespread amongst your menu. Yeah. Um, what, again, what are some of the, what, for instance, your Madelines? Uh, which I happen to have a few right here. Uh, <laughs> um, it, that, those are so different from, say, a sourdough, right? Um, yeah. Are there are there favorite items that you have to make where, to you, it's just like a walk in the park, don't got to think about it? Um, and then are there items that uh, quite require a little more attention and, and to detail and so forth? So the my favorite, I'd say, like, top two breads that I love to make is like obviously the sourdough. Mm -hmm. um, I really love to make challah bread and that's that um, braided so sweet good. bread. Oh, yeah. uh, I just it's like the dough is super smooth to work with and it is just so pretty braided. I just love it. Um, as far as on the sweet side my favorite things to make would definitely be the madelines and the crack cookies that I offer. Yeah. <laughs> Because they're just so tasty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I, I'm happy to be able to say that I've tried each of the things that you've mentioned, and they they are fantastic. It's like I tell people on my social media: if you haven't ordered yet, you need to, um, <laughs> because there there's you know like for instance with the Madelines, I I'm literally going to have one right now as we're talking. Because nice. one of the things I loved about this particular item is there there it's a, the lemon version that I got and. They're sweet, but they're not cloined. They're, they're just this right balance of, of the fluffiness of Madeline with the flavor of the lemon, but it doesn't over, you know, it's, it's not an overly sweet punch like I've had with some. And so, yeah. you know, there's, there's a lot of, um, there's craft here, you know, this is art. And I don't just say that to say that. Um, is baking an art? Do you see it that way? Or how do you view the whole craft of baking? I, I definitely view it as an art. Um... I also view it as a science because if you don't do it in the right order or mix it the way that it needs to be, it can be a total failure. Yeah. Um, 
take the metal ends, for example, they're like the butter that goes into it has to be added in at the very last moment. Mm. Otherwise it will ruin the entire batch and you won't get the texture that is so enjoyable. Yeah. Um, I have, you know, when I first started making cookies and stuff, I would forget to cream the butter and the sugar before adding the eggs and something small like that where you put one ingredient before the other, you wouldn't think it would matter so much, but it totally does. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's it's amazing stuff and I'm really, um, you know, so pleased to be able to talk about the work that you do and others local, you know, I think of, um, you know, PB and J would say, you know, Jeremiah is fantastic. Lone yeah, Star think... Pure. Uh, earlier today, I had to tell you, I had the, um, the jalapeno cheddar bagel <coughs> with, uh, <coughs> turkey, turkey pepperoni and cheese. And then I put out some of the pear jalapeno, uh, Ooh. jelly from Lone Star Pure. And I was like, I'm not going to go back to work today. I think I'm going to call in. So <laughs> it was that, just the best. That sounds really good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, do you have, uh, you know, a favorite gadget? Uh, I, I know you've talked about the scoring tools you have, but are there favorite gadgets that you have? Um, or is it, you know, the things that you enjoy doing uh, or tools you, you enjoy using? So I recently, and I'm very grateful for this, my, um, my mom actually gifted me a very expensive Swedish stand mixer and it can hold much more dough than your typical kitchen aid can mm -hmm. and i i love that thing like if i could fall asleep with it like i would <laughs> um <laughs> it's awesome. like it's so amazing it does everything um and you know i i know it's pretty lame i guess to say but my oven i, I oh, love sure. my oven because it, <laughs> it does all the work yeah <laughs> quite the necessary tool yeah exactly i wouldn't That's be anywhere awesome. without my oven <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i love it so you know outside of uh bread and and the items that you make for one punch dough uh, i'm curious uh, i'm a big foodie myself food is a big passion of mine do you have uh, favorite foods or, you know, guilty pleasure foods that you go to? You know, what, what, what is Janine like outside of bread and stuff? I, I mean, I'm a big foodie person myself. Um, I can't tell you how many food, like basically my Facebook feed is filled with foods. Um, yeah. <laughs> but I'd have to say, you know, my favorite food would be sushi. Um, I'm also... Puerto Rican, so I love a good, you know, rice, pulled pork, and uh, you know, all of those things. Arroz sure. con gandules and pernil, and huh, I make a pretty good <laughs> pernil. If you ever want to make a uh, Cuban sandwiches sometime, I'll give oh, you wow. half the pork butt. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah, it's it's such a it's your passion is so evident within the work that you do. Um, and you know, as, as I've sort of in the short amount of time that I've known you and, and been watching what you're doing and, and kind of, I scroll back on, on your social media and stuff. I really, I, it's one of those things where when you find someone who has a passion and, and puts it out there in the world, um, you know, I like to promote that. And so if you had advice for someone who wanted to get into baking, who maybe like me says, you know, it's just so specific like i love to cook but i've always said baking is not my my thing because it is so exacting um what what advice would you give to someone like me to say you know hey it's it, give it a try i i would say you know the end result is always the best part of it um because you get to enjoy this wonderful thing that you made yourself um lots of patience like you need lots of patience for bread because you can't bake it early you can't you know rush the process um because i started out like that i was very impatient i was like i want bread right now and i would <laughs> bake it and it would end up like this hard rock and it was terrible um patience is a huge key uh take you know back to my sourdough I, I do two loaves at once uh, when I make a batch and 
it takes 36 hours to do mm. correctly. So that, for example, um, the bagels take that I make, um, they take a pretty good amount of time. Um, but time and patience and dedication, like if you fail, don't give up, just keep trying. Yeah. Yeah. That's fantastic advice. Well, from the crack cookies to the breads and, and various things I've gotten to try, I know, uh, I will continue to, uh, promote, uh, one punch dough. So where can people find you? Uh, and where can we connect, uh, to, uh, to order great stuff from you? So right now I um, am on Instagram to, you know, excuse me, view my pictures. I recently set up my book now button on Facebook so you can view the availability and um, create appointments through there. I am still working on a website and I have it 25% complete, but with all the orders and having two kids and, you know, living life. Uh, I've been slacking a little bit of that. I basically needed another 24 hours a day to <laughs> do it how sure. I want to do it. Um, and I think I'm very nitpicky because I used to be a website designer and mm. a programmer. So sure. um, right now it's through ordering is through Facebook. Okay. All right. Well, we'll be adding the links. Uh, for those of you watching, the links will be in the uh, description below. Uh, and again, uh, you'll see on the screen right now the uh, address for One Punch Dough on Instagram and, of course, the information for Facebook as well. Janine, I can't thank you enough for the time you've taken to talk with me today. Uh, I, you know, in, in a time like this, the, the pandemic has revealed a lot about us uh, as people, and it's also connected a lot of us uh, in unique ways. So, on behalf of all the folks that, uh, that are putting up with my One Punch Dough posts, uh, <laughs> thank you for sharing your passion with us here on That Went Well. Yes, thank you so much for having me. I'm super excited that you like it and that I, you're promoting my business, and I hope to continue serving you and everybody else. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, uh, again, we've been talking to Janine from One Punch Dough. Uh, make sure you check her out on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, give her a like, follow, and order, order, order. We'll be right back here on That Went Well. And here we are, right back, like I said. Uh, I want to say a thank you one more time to Janine from One Punch Dough for stopping by That Went Well to talk about her passion for baking and uh, all that goes with it. Uh, it was great to have her on, and as you can see, uh, someone who pursues their passions can really, really do great things. And so that's why you've heard me talk often on my social media about the bread and such that I'm able to get from her uh, as one of her customers. Um, I will continue to rave about One Punch Dough uh, and other local shops uh, that hopefully we'll have uh, visits from in future episodes. We'll still be doing taste testings, don't worry. Uh, I've got several lined up for the next uh, few episodes. Um, as well as some other unique things that are coming down the road. But for now, as I get ready to get out of here, I'm going to uh, show you this little piece of beauty. Uh, this is the uh, chocolate marble uh, pound cake from One Punch Dough. And I'm going to be partaking in it right now. And uh... you see? Try to tell you, but you don't listen. Now, make sure you check out the information that I post in the inform in the um, description below, where you can find One Punch Dough on Instagram and on Facebook. You can put orders on Facebook and um, order yourself all kinds of stuff uh, because it's fantastic. Uh, she did let me know that she does deliver outside of San Antonio, and so uh, her bread ships very well. And um, you owe it to yourself to check it out. So, uh, yeah, it's been a fantastic 25th episode. I'm extremely happy. I'm going to continue eating my pound cake here, but I'll make sure to let you know, as always, you're awesome, you're amazing, and the world's a better place because you are in it. We'll see you next time on That Went Well.